Hey there! Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show to you, my YouTube buddies. What's going on in this week before the week of the last week of the year of the new year? It's gonna be great. Did that make any sense at all? It's almost the new year. Uh, I have a video today. We've talked about this before, but I, uh, well, what the, the subject is, is whether you should pH your water when you're going to do a slurry test. And, you know, we've covered this before. The answer is if it's within a range, no, don't mess with it. But if it's way over here, way over here, too high, too low, you probably need to do something. And we covered what you need to do and all that. Uh, but Cool Name, his name is Cool Name, uh, on the, on the YouTube, one of y'all out there said, hey, I, I, I watched the video and I, I still don't get it. So when we did the last viewer question, so you've already seen this information if you've watched the viewer questions episode, but I want to call this out specifically because um, when Scott and I talked about this, the subject of changing the pH of the water if it's too far out of range when you do a slurry test, it felt like a little bit maybe new information, definitely more specific on this information. So what I'd like to do is if you're interested at all in how if you need to do a pH of the water when you're going to do a slurry test, what the situation is with that. So watch this video and I'll talk to you after. Uh, well, it didn't quite answer my question. Maybe I missed it. I always pH adjust after adding newts. So should I pH my water to my last pH of my last feeding, then add soil to do the slurry test? He's asking if he should pH his water to... That's a tricky question, it really is. And the reason for that is because if you have to adjust your pH of your regular water up to get it to where you would feed, then you're, then you're adding limestone in, and you're, which then now you're going to get a false reading because yeah. that limestone is going to react to the pH. Meter. Right. Uh -huh. I, if you have really, if your water is outside of the six to seven pH range, uh -huh. I would be getting our, you know, a distilled water, something that's a neutral water, that's going to okay. give you a better reading. But other, if it's in the six to seven, just document your start water point. Yeah. Do your math. I mean, do uh -huh. your slurry, and then reference whoever you're speaking with about your issue. My starting, because I get this all the time, is my yeah. starting water is 500 parts per million and a pH of 6.9. After I'm all done, it's 240 parts per million, <laughs> and it's like, okay, you're starving. But yeah, I, I kind of look at that and just, it's not a perfect math equation saying yeah. your water starts at 6.9 and your pH of your slurry comes out to 6.3. There's interaction it's, in there? Yeah. Yeah. So I wouldn't focus on trying to get the exact pH. If you have to bring it down, then phosphoric acid, you know, a pH down product is going to stabilize that water far greater than putting our Olympus up in because the Olympus up is going to continue to climb over a period oh, okay. of time. And as it reacts to other things, that limestone is going to keep releasing. So you'll get more of a false reading by doing a pH adjustment with your water. So would you use brand X pH up to bring it up? Not necessarily because that's a usually like a potassium hydroxide or calcium has some kind of hydroxide that's going to be smashing high pH. So at that, yeah. if your water is just low in pH, I would either go get RO or, you know. Would you get RO or, or like distilled water or spring I water? I would say RO before. Yeah, that would be your first choice because yeah. it's nothing in there. And spring be. waters, I mean, the spring water here, like Mackenzie Mist water, yeah. that's an 8.3 out of the bottle. So mm -hmm. you're not using that one. Yeah, no. So it just comes down to try to find a water in that 6 to 7 range. Okay. Okay, what do you think of that? Did that cover it? Was that more helpful than the previous video? I don't know if you all watched the previous video. Are you still having any questions about slurry tests and the pH of the water? If so, or if you got any other questions at all about nectar, just uh, throw them down in the comments. We'll get them tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. We'll just be keep doing this. Uh, I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. The OCG Fam Show. It's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.